our uh, planet is on fire and we have to deal with it. And uh, this is a risk that we really, really know. So we cannot say that we are faced with a blind spot. As the world enters the third year of the COVID-19 pandemic, the climate crisis remains the biggest long-term threat facing humanity. According to the 2022 Global Risks Report, the Global Risk Report is an annual report prepared by the World Economic Forum. 84% of the 1,000 experts that were surveyed by the makers of this report stated that they were worried or concerned for the world that they live in. So, what does the Global Risks Report 2022 mean for our environment? The 17th edition of the Global Risks Perception Survey by the World Economic Forum ranked climate action failure as the number one risk with potentially the most severe impact over the next decade. The most documented risks associated with climate action failure are physical risks, such as an increase in the frequency and severity of extreme weather. In 2020, multiple cities around the world experienced extreme temperatures not seen for years, such as a record high of 42.7 degrees Celsius in Madrid and a 72-year low of minus 19 degrees Celsius in Dallas. The Arctic is also believed to be warming twice as fast as the global average, with the temperature hitting an all-time high of 38 degrees Celsius in June 2020. In the light of recent events, extreme weather due to climate change is seen as the second most serious short-term risk, with biodiversity loss coming in third, along with social cohesion erosion, livelihood crises and mental health deterioration. But, how does a pandemic impact climate change discussions? The report says developing economies except China will have fallen 5.5% below their pre-pandemic expected GDP growth by 2024, while advanced economies will have surpassed it by 0.9%. Such global divergence will impact the world's ability to tackle common challenges including climate change, mitigation and climate equality. And that's not it. The report also stated that, given the complexities of technological, economic and societal change at this scale, it is likely that any transition that achieves the net zero goal by 2050 will be disorderly. However, the 2022 report does end on a hopeful note by encouraging governments to think outside the quarterly reporting cycle and to create policies that shape the agenda for the coming years by including lessons in resilience from the COVID-19 pandemic.